Hey, this is Eric from Portland Music Company and today we're talking about balanced cables. So I'd like to start this video with the conclusion and then work our way down so you can better understand, okay? It's, again, this is uh, uh, for beginners. If you are understand about this business of balanced cables, you can just move along. Number one, it's always the best choice to use balanced cables uh, either on stage or in your studio. Number two, compared to uh, unbalanced cables such as your guitar cord, balanced cable can be run over a much longer distance. They also be much quieter to zero noise and uh, they are slightly louder because uh, balanced cable generates a plus 4 dB dynamic range signal as opposed as minus 10 dB for an unbalanced cable. Number three, you can only use balanced cables between devices that are equipped with balanced inputs or outputs. Okay. Uh, number four, there's only three possibility of connections for balanced cables. This is a balanced cable. This is also a balanced cable. That is a balanced cable. Okay, you want to keep going? Let's look deeper into it. So the balanced XLR connector or the TRS connector, also called tip ring sleeve, have three points of connection compared to the two on an unbalanced or instrument cable. Balanced cables feature three signal wires. A braided ground wire shielding the two inner signal wires as opposed to the one signal wire in a unbalanced cable or instrument cable. And the fact there are two signal wires instead of one is what really makes the whole difference. Okay, you know, let's dig in. Uh, let's, let me try to explain in the simplest possible way how this all works. Um, the science behind balanced cables. All right, so we know there's two signal wires in a balanced cable. Let's call it A and B. A and B are going to be the exact copy of each other, okay? Same exact thing. When A and B leaves the source, it, uh, the, the polarity or phase gets reversed, okay? So, and what happens when you do that? You, um, uh, cancel, you have what you call phase cancellation. When uh, the signal reaches its destination, A and B uh, phase gets reversed back to its original polarity. Okay, and when you do that, uh, it subtracts the difference between the two, which happens to be the noise that the cable has picked up along the way. And what happens when you subtract the A and B, the noise disappears. The noise gets canceled. That's in a nutshell how balanced cable works. So the other question is, how do you know uh, if you have balance in and outs on your equipment? If you see an XLR main outputs on a mixer, for example, um, you have a balance output that can be connected to the balance input of, let's say, your active studio monitor, for example. If you have quarter inch output jacks, they could be balanced or they could be unbalanced because the connector looks pretty much the same from the outside. But there's a couple of ways you can tell. Number one, quarter inch balance outputs are often labeled with a plus 4 dB. Number two, if nothing indicates that your quarter inch jack is balanced, you just need to check uh, the, the specs of your gear or even better, just come and ask us. Number three, Combo jacks, they have been around for quite a while now, but some people are still confused by them. They actually are two plugs in one. They can receive either an XLR connector or a quarter inch balance or unbalanced connector. Well, I hope that wasn't too hard. Um, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, just as a quick reminder, all the Portner Music Company cables are going to be lifetime warranty. Don't forget about that. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.